그런 너 해, 너 What is good, y'all? This is JB here with an album review, and uh, today we're getting into the new Twice mini album, uh, Twice Coaster Lane One. Really, really excited to get into this. Uh, so before I get into the review, I do want to apologize for the lighting. I know this might be a little dark. Uh, it's super stormy outside, and my actual like physical light that I use is acting up and, and giving me issues. So I had to use natural lighting, but it's super stormy outside, so it's dark. So I apologize uh, for that ahead of time. Um, and so I'm switching it up uh, a little bit. Y'all know on my last review, I said that instead of going track by track and then at the end giving you guys my full thoughts, I basically give you guys my full thoughts on the album at first and then go, uh, you know, track by track. So whoever doesn't want to hear me go, you know, deep and in, in, in depth about each track can get like the TLDR version of the review. So uh, before I go track by track, uh, twice, you know, girl group out of JYP, uh, really liked their debut track. Uh, wasn't the biggest fan of Cheer Up. It's definitely something I listen to every once in a while, but it's not something that is my favorite song by them. And uh, with my, you know, uh, reaction to their newest release, I said how much I really, really love TT. And I, it's my favorite Twice song, uh, for sure. So I uh, was really, really excited again into getting this uh, mini album, see what they got. We got seven tracks here, 22 minutes, pretty standard. Um, length for a mini album and I gotta say uh, twice now that we're three mini albums in and we got kind of a semblance of what they're going for uh, I can definitely see that they're gonna be a definitely a single driven kind of group uh, unlike a group like a FX or some son that puts out really really dope like full-length albums uh, these are you know really really dope uh, singles and then when they put out mini albums they're dope they're, they're good in, uh, in and of itself and definitely you know for twice fans but they're not necessarily doing anything uh, mind-blowing per se so uh, my thoughts on it it's a pretty good mi uh, mini album nothing necessarily blowing me away but it's definitely uh, giving me an idea for the kind of sound that they're going for I think I, I got a better understanding and idea of uh, what twice is all about and I've seen some great vocal growth on this particular mini album so I would suggest it to anybody who's a twice fan or a girl group uh, fan but it's not necessarily anything I'm losing my mind over that's my full thoughts on it uh, so track by track let's go straight into it it's gonna be a pretty quick review there's only seven tracks um, track one TT the title track really really enjoy it went for a kind of a Halloween theme uh, for the visual they have nice bass tones there in the production and that's definitely the highlight for it uh, you got the cutesy vocals on it and definitely they're definitely going hard with the cutesy stuff on this mini album that I really really appreciate they have a great sound and it's not over the top like egg yo like bling bling kind of um, uh, cute stuff it's definitely kind of like a, a clean JYP esque kind of uh, a cleanliness so I, I really really enjoy it uh, love the song great choreography definitely a song that can I can experience uh, with the music video and something I, I love the audio too I listened to it on the way home today has a nice you know bright uh, tone to it uh, that is pretty much reoccurring through the entire mini album next we have track 1 to 10 probably my favorite song on the mini album I uh, love the, the, the kind of way the drums kind of kick in it's got a nice groove to it. it's got a nice funk to it uh, if there's anything twice as really good at is putting together great choruses they have super catchy music on this mini album so 1 to 10 really really dope track something that got stuck in my uh, head after you know one or two listens and then that transitions into track 3 Ponytail now I've heard a lot of people uh, basically calling this like kind of like the anime opening kind of thing and I definitely get the comparison but it happens pretty much every time a girl group does anything with a rock instrumental uh, but I, I could definitely see uh, why people you know draw that comparison I uh, love the you know bright bubbly vocals there on the beat the kind of like uh, acoustic drums not not acoustic in the sense of like acoustic guitar but kind of raw unfiltered not programmed uh, drums there on the beat there with the the you know uh, moving electric guitar great touch on the instrumental so that's really dope and then we got into track four jelly jelly where they go hard on the egg yo stuff on this particular song uh, love the vocals there on the chorus really really cute enunciation love the production on it uh, nothing you know not too many thoughts on this particular trap it's not something I really see myself revisiting and then that goes into uh, track five pit a pat 
Uh, I swear the first few times I listened to it, I didn't even look at the title. I swear I thought they were saying Peter Pan <laughs> the entire time. Uh, but I enjoy the increase in tempo on here. You know, you got something a little bit moving. Uh, vocals, you know, relatively uh, standard. Uh, again, when you're listening to Twice, you're not getting anything too vocally ambitious. Uh, you're getting pretty, you know, standard pop music uh, with very addictive choruses. And that's what I, I think um, Twice's strong suit is having a song, introducing it, and having it stuck in your head like that. Almost in a similar to uh, maybe like a crayon pop who, who, who's able to do stuff like that. Uh, then we get into the next track, Next Page. Love this song, man. It's got kind of like a hip hop R&B kind of vibe to it, but like uh, up-tempo R&B, of course. Uh, love the drum pattern on this. Got a nice groove to it. Uh, very, very different track than anything we've heard uh, from them before. Would love to hear more stuff like this from it. Something with a little bit, you know, it has a little zest to it. Uh, so I really, really enjoyed Next Page. And then they finish it off with One in a Million. Uh, definitely a great song on this. Uh, Want to see more of, uh, like this too. Perfect way to end off the mini album. Gives me like mid 2000s R&B vibes, like but like preteen pop R&B uh, from the mid 2000s. That's kind of vibe I'm getting on this. Uh, it has a nice throwback sound, but a throwback sounds of like people like maybe my age or, or a little bit younger. Um, love that track. Uh, Could have easily been used as a title track for sure. Would have been an interesting chase, change of pace from the previous releases. But I thought TT was. Um, the perfect choice in title track. Now, usually I'll, I'll go through the album and I'll say, oh, I, if I was them, I would have chose this song. Uh, but I think they did a great job uh, choosing TT. But overall, we got ourselves a nice mini album here. Nothing mind blowing. Uh, in my opinion, probably their best mini album. Yeah, I feel like they've, they in, in bodies of work, they've gotten each time better. But I think Lua was probably their best uh, title track over Cheer Up. But TT is a great song nonetheless. Great mini album. Again, I would recommend it to any JYP fans. It's definitely got that JYP flavor for sure. They're in the production. Uh, if you're a fan of Twice, obviously you gotta check this out. I think they've made uh, great progress uh, vocally and in terms of their beat selection. If they have any in, in involvement in the process of that, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but yeah, man, definitely something I could see myself revisiting here and there. But probably uh, a select few songs like TT, 1 to 10, 1 in a million are probably the ones that I see myself listening to the most. Curious as to what your thoughts are on this album, so in the comment section below, let me know what your thoughts are on them. What's your favorite song on this album? How do you think about this comparing to their previous releases? Let me know what your thoughts are. Until next time, this is JV here. I love you guys. Bye.